Hi friends, Prepared Suburbanite here, back at you. Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking in. Uh, as part of my daily ritual, um, I log into a number of internet websites, and one of my favorites is the survivalblog.com. That's survivalblog, all one word, dot com. Um, th this website has topical news for survivalists, for pretty much uh, anybody with a prepared uh, mindset. They have uh, writing contests. Um, they really do quite a good job as a news aggregation source um, to get information out to um, their subscribers on this particular website. Got a lot of good articles here and there. Um, it's all brought to you by James Wesley Rawls. And for folks that are uh, into the Prepper and Survival community, that name should ring a bell. And they close each day's um, posting with the quote of the day. And today, or yesterday's quote, is from a fella named Attorney Michael Perutka, founder of the Institute on the Constitution. And here's what he has to say. And pay attention. If your country was under attack in a regular war, there are some things you might expect your enemy to try to do. For example, you would expect your enemy to try to destroy your cities, making them unsafe places to live and to work. You would expect your enemy to try to commandeer your public information system, using it to disseminate their propaganda. And if any of this sounds familiar, Please let me know. Your enemy would also try to disrupt your private communication systems, censoring ideas which oppose their agenda. Your enemy would want to cripple your economy and productivity, and sow discord among your people, and infiltrate your government, placing traitors and saboteurs in positions of both national and local authority. Your enemy would close your churches and marginalize the clergy and demoralize your people. You would expect your enemy to murder as many of your children as they can, training the rest to disrespect and despise their own history and heritage. Your enemy would conduct surveillance on your people and impose restrictions on their movement and assembly. Ultimately, you would expect your enemy to fundamentally change your culture, language, and core beliefs to accommodate and reflect theirs. But what you might not expect is for your enemy to get you to wreak all this chaos, all of this destruction, all of this misery, all this slavery on yourself. This is a war, an irregular war. This is not a drill. Um, there are some things that this man says that are going on right now in our country as we sit here. And if we're not paying attention, um, we're at war. And they have launched the attack. And I'm talking about the left. Pretty much everything this man says has been proven to be true already, destroying our cities, commandeering public information systems, uh, disrupting private communication systems, um, you know, the censoring that's going on, um, crippling the economy with uh, inflation and tariffs and uh, high taxes, um, reducing our productivity with mask mandates and vaccine mandates, uh, yeah, sowing discord, yeah, that's certainly going on right now. Um, would they use churches to marginalize the clergy and demoralize people? I would certainly think so, that uh, when they uh, started making a lot of these lockdown rules, the churches were the first things that went. So I think he's uh, pretty close to hitting the nail on the head with that one. With, uh, do you expect the enemy to murder as many of your children as they can? Well, I'm thinking about the unborn. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of that going on too. 
um, and training the rest to disrespect and despise their own history and heritage. Yeah, well, the first group that started tearing down Confederate uh, uh, memorial statues, um, yeah, it's already, it's already happening and has been happening for quite some time. Would you expect your enemy to fundamentally change your culture? Seems I remember a quote from a former president who vowed to fundamentally change the United States. And I'll leave that to your imagination if you need to go look it up to find out who said that. And then here comes the truth. What you might not have expected is for your enemy to be you, to be the folks that are your neighbors, that go to your church, that you see at the supermarket, the folks that voted the wrong way, the folks that have a liberal mindset, the folks that have uh, Trump derangement syndrome. Um, they're the ones, the folks on the left, the far left, that are causing all this um, nonsense, havoc, um, destruction, misery, and even slavery to a degree at this point. Masks, I understand, were used in ancient times to uh, show uh, subservience to the masters because they would cover people's faces so that they couldn't um, be expressive in any way. Um, we're living the times right now, my friends, and um, this message from um, Mr. Perutka is very, very timely. I am concerned. I'm committed to becoming a better prepper with, with uh, a lot more stuff to last me a lot longer than I would have originally thought. The supply chains are starting to get frayed. Um, there are shortages of things starting to happen all over. The unloaded cargo ships that are sitting off the ports of New York and of the ports in San Francisco and Los Angeles, uh, they're not getting unloaded and the supply chain is uh, getting disrupted. So if you're of a prepping mindset, get busy, get busy fast because what we're experiencing right now is just going to get worse. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always and I'll see you all on the next video.